Pam Hupp talked to her husband, Mark, almost every day from the time she was arrested more than three years ago. They knew they were being recorded. Sometimes Mark even warned his wife people were listening in. Shortly after her arrest for the August 2016 murder of Louis Gumpenberger, Pam Hupp found out O'Fallon police had tracked her movements via her vehicle OnStar system. Hupp told her husband by phone she didn't believe it. And OnStar wasn't even on, so... Well, it was still active. We weren't using it, but it was still active. But I think it's always active. Oh, is it? Mm. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. After Hupp's January 2017 arraignment, she claimed there was evidence on her side. Some good stuff in there. Just going through the discovery stuff. Some good stuff. Okay. That's yeah. good news. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, you know. Just total opposite what they say. After the judge's April 2017 decision to pick an out-of-town jury, Pam Hupp said her lawyer, Kim Frader, called it their first victory. One down, 500 to go. That's what Kim goes. She goes, one for us, zero for them. <laughs> so far. So. Yeah, it's a bunch of little battles, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's like dominoes. After a June 8, 2018 hearing, Hupp ridiculed assistant prosecutor Phil Greenway for this. This is a woman who went all over St. Charles looking for someone she could set up to make a fake 911 call so that she could execute the person while they were on the phone with 911. Pam Hupp told her husband later that night. Crazy stuff. The one prosecutor is like he's on L.A. Law or something. Remember that show with Harry Hamlin? Yeah. He's like this real old guy, and he gets all red-faced, like he's going to have a heart attack. He's real dramatic. He's like, like he's on a movie or something. It's like, dang. She ridiculed the judge after her plea deal. You don't have a title to me. You ain't doing what you're supposed to do, and you haven't, so why would I give you that respect? Right. No one from Pam Hupp's family ever appeared in court for her hearings. Pam and Mark talked about why. So not good about not being there for all these other times, but I know you said not to come, so. Well, because it's mostly the protection of you because they're going to be all over you like, you know, mosquitoes. Well, yeah, I know it's going to be a dog and pony show, I know that. And I don't want that. I don't want to give them that, you know. June 19th, Hupp took a special Alford plea, which meant she only acknowledged there was enough evidence to convict. The next day, she said how satisfying it was to not take responsibility for murder. Judge said she will not admit to anything. She's not admitting to anything. She's, you know, and they, and Kim goes, I actually heard a gasp, like, what? Because that's what they were expecting, gory details and me admitting that. And Judge said, no, she's not. That's not what it is. So they were not happy. Because of Hupp's plea, she cannot appeal her life sentence. She's currently at Chillicothe Correctional Center. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.